Good morning. Welcome to Straw Family Farm Take Two. I'm Christy. This morning in the chapel, we have 1 Thessalonians 5.18. In everything, give thanks, for this is the will of God for in Jesus Christ concerning you. So just trying to remember to be thankful and and all that good stuff. And I, I really am thankful right now. Things are just going very smoothly, knock on wood. I'm not saying there's not any problems. I'm just saying that it's nothing none of us can handle, you know, so we're doing all right. Um, this is probably going to be a really short podcast just because there's only one thing that I'm super excited to show you. No, I haven't gotten in my Mary Maxim stuff. Yes, I've hemmed the arms of the green shirt. It's right here. I've got the back pin. I haven't um, sewed it because I haven't finished um, pinning up the front. Once I do that, then it's wearable. But yeah, so I did start something that I'm a little excited about. It's kind of like the on, you know, in the basket, in the dye pot, on the wheel. I got this whole thing going in my head. So, um, if you guys remember, I went to the fiber festival. I got three fibers. I got some Targi, which I got like 240 yards out of. Then I got some Tunis, which I got like 356 yards out of. Yes, I was reading that. Um, and then I got the South Down Cross that I saved to last. And I, for Labor Day, spun it. It was a dream. I got thir 338 yards of the cross. And, oh, my goodness. So, once I got to working with it, it kind of inspired me. I didn't know what I was doing. I was just like, I'm just going to sit down, spin that. I still have two pounds of some other stuff to spin, too. And I'm like, oh. I'm just going to spin this little four ounces here and, you know, get things started. Well, then once I got started with it, you know how things just speak to you. Um, it just does. So I started a shawl and this is just a V pattern shawl. Simple, simple. Um, okay. So I started it, but then as I started working, I realized, and this is very springy. It's a downy wool. So, um, this 330 some yards is not going to be enough. And I thought I'm going to have to find something to put with it, which I knew that when I started it. Um, and so then I got thinking, and I thought, aha, I have this and I have this. So for a combination, I've got 600 and I don't know, there's 356 and 338. So about. 690 yards so almost 700 yards if I put this with it so I'm gonna do the top in the dark and then I'm gonna do this and then if I still need some length I'm gonna go ahead and put the targi on it and it'll just be a little bit drapey at the bottom okay sounds like a plan right but then I got to thinking I haven't dyed anything in a while and I really need to dye some of that yarn you know stay in practice so I have decided I'm going to dye my first article of clothing. I'm going to dye this as a shawl. The dark, I'm, I'm hoping I can do this right. If it works the same way as it works with the yarn, I'll be okay. But nothing ever works, because, you know, exactly the way you do it, because this is totally different fiber than what I normally use. So, yeah, we'll see how it all takes to dye. But the big plan is to make that into a shawl and then dye it blue. I haven't done anything in blues in a while. Um, I did that red off that um, reds, orange, yellows off that sunset. Um, I can't even remember. I, I, I did the purple um, yarn that I'm working on that sweater for me. I did the green for roommate last year and I haven't done anything in blue. So, I've decided I'm going to do it blue. I am going to do it so that the dye wicks up and I'm going to have the darker part go in first, making it, um, I hope, not all one color, but I want it to fade to the end of it where the lighter wool is. And if I have this on the end, I'm hoping to be able to leave a little of the wool white so hopefully it will be dark blue and then just fade to white don't know if that's going to happen i've never done it before i've never um dyed an article of clothing 
So, I mean, I've tie dyed and that kind of stuff. But I have never um, done wool that way. I've always done the yarn first. So, it's going to be an experiment. I have got to get it made first. And so, of course, once that hit me, that was inspiring me to just get in there and get it spun and get it made. So I've been working on it diligently every night and it's coming along quite nicely. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes. But as far as everything else, um, I've been sewing still a little bit. Uh, you can see the iron board set up back here. RJ has been working. He works sale barn and stuff. He's trying to get some bills paid off. And uh, he just, he's working. That's about it. And rodeoing. So he's trying to get things paid down, paid off. And he says if his if he could just get things paid off, he'd be a little bit happier. Which he's right. He, he wouldn't be a little happier. He'd be a little bit more stress-free. So I'm going to try and see if I can't help out a little bit. In that, um, I did get a raise at work, which I was really surprised about. Um, so I've been there, what is today, the 7th? Just a week shy of 90 days. And they included me in a, a large bonus a month ago. And then they did their annual reviews early this year because of the economy and the gas prices and and they know people are feeling it. So they did the review and I actually got, I got two raises off in one to save her time. So I got my 90 day review a little bit early, got a dollar raise for that. Then I got another dollar raise just because the first of the year they do evaluations and she anticipates me to continue to improve. I know $2 an hour doesn't sound like a whole lot, but when you put it in perspective, I work a 40 hour a week. That's $80 a week. That turns into $160 extra each check and $320 extra a month. So I am definitely super happy with that. Um, and I should be able to, now a lot of it might go to taxes. I don't know. Um, I try to keep my tax at 8% is what I have to pay in to break even at the end of the year. So I try to keep that level down. I'm going to see what it does to me there. Um, I got to call and see if it pops me up into a higher tax bracket or whatever, but I don't think it will because right now the taxes are in my mouth. So Caddy Wampus anyway, it's not just that sheet that you used to look up and say, okay, this is what now they, they make you figure it yourself. And there's a bigger chance of you screwing it up. And yeah, so I try. <laughs> I try. That's all I can say. So um, it is what it is. And we'll see how it goes. But I did get a raise at work. And I'm going to start giving him a little bit extra on payments so that he can do with them. So anyway, and on top of that, not only did it take effect the first of the month, this is a three-week pay period because I get paid the 15th and the 30th first. Um, every once in a while, we get a three weeks in there because there's five weeks in the month. So, yeah, I like that. I really do because it looks really nice. <laughs> so, all right. Um, I'm going to get off of here. I will talk to you all later. I know this isn't very long. But I just wanted to show you the shawl and that I did start it and that I have this big grand scheme stuck in my head again. And you know how it goes with me. I just get this idea and I pray that it comes out right. So we shall see. And I'll take you along for the process. I've got to get it made first. So I am working on that. My Mary Max and stuff is supposed to be here um, by the weekend, this weekend. I don't know. So next week I might have some unveiling of some yarns that I got. Um the kit. I don't know what else coming. So, uh, yeah, we'll get that going and then we'll go from there. But you guys have a great week and be safe. The morning dew is, is really thick these late days, but I think
think fall is on the way. So I'm okay with that. But have a safe week. God bless y'all and know that you're always in my prayers. Bye.